Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Seda Bano. I'm a faith-based coach and mentor, and I'd like to welcome you on this month's group uh, guided healing meditation, inshallah. So I also wanted to share with you just a, a recap of what meditation and mindfulness is. So meditation, it's the practice or the exercise. The meditation itself isn't the objective. The objective or the reason and the goal behind meditation is that we, we achieve a state of mindfulness, a state of presence, a state of heart-based consciousness to bring ourselves into this present moment, cultivate that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And meditation is, is a practice that we should be cultivating on a daily basis, at least twice a day, inshallah, morning and evening. Um, start with maybe five to ten minutes and then build up on that practice inshallah so if you think about it the, the ego is located in the mind is is mind-based consciousness so when we're in our ego our mind likes to create a lot of drama a lot of suffering we connect and associate ourselves with our identity so my identity is say that and I identify my with my story the st story of say that and everything that I've been through and this is localized in the mind. And so when we are in the in the mind and identified with our story, we will naturally be in a state of suffering because the mind exists by grieving about the past and worried about the future. So the mind is never present in this moment. And we can only find presence through our breath and when we enter heart-based consciousness. And so if we really want to end suffering or we want to find our peace that is not connected to the dunya uh, because often we are in the illusion that we're in a state of peace and that might be because everything in our life is going the way that we want it to be but we aren't really actually at peace our peace isn't connected to Allah our peace is connected to the dunya and so we are dependent upon the dunya to give us that peace when we practice meditation, meditation is an opportunity for us to bring ourselves into the present moment. And when we're in the present moment, we are with Allah. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be found in the, the grief of the past or the worry of the future. And that's where the mind is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can only be found in this in the present moment. And in the present moment, there is no suffering. There's only peace. Uh, it's not a concept of the mind it's an experience of the body and it changes our state so islam is not and this is where we are mostly stuck we are most mostly stuck in the concepts the rituals of islam we haven't really internalized and embodied islam because if we had we would be in a state of peace practice of meditation like i said is the exercise it's not the objective the objective is or the goal is to enter a state of med mindfulness to enter a state of awareness, uh, heart-based consciousness, presence, and end the suffering that the ego likes to create. And so naturally the ego, the mind is not going to want you to sit in presence because it exists, its nature it can only exist when it is when it is connected to time, space, and reality. When we start the practice of meditation, we often find it really, really difficult. Our mind likes to remind us of all of these other things in our life that we probably hadn't even remembered and then they'll just crop up. And it's because it's trying its hardest, the nafs is trying its hardest to keep you in that state of suffering because it can only exist when you are in the mind. Um, and so we want to come out of the mind and we want to bring ourselves into the presence of the heart and the heart is the doorway, is the, is the bridge uh, between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the breath is what takes us there. So when we bring our body into a state of relaxation, we're actually bringing ourselves internally into a state of Islam, into a state of peace. And we should be able to feel that. You should be able to experience that. The intention behind these gatherings is when we come together collectively, whatever the intention behind that is amplified. So we've come together today, inshallah, with the intention that, you know, we find some healing, we find presence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're able to heal from whatever it is that we need to heal from. 
um, we were able to find that connection with him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we were able to find peace um, that is not connected to the dunya, but that but that is connected and rooted in our in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, if everyone can just take a moment and find a nice, uh, quiet, comfortable place where they're not going to be disturbed. And just bring yourself into a state of relaxation. So just become aware of your body and your breath. And inshallah, we're going to try and give our heart a taste of peace and joy and presence, inshallah. And I hope that, inshallah, this space, this collective space allows you to experience that. So if you can just sit in an upright, relaxed, relaxed position so there are few positions that you can sit in. So you can sit in um, cross-legged on the floor. You can sit in um, with your um, legs bent underneath like you would in the Tashahud position. Um, you can also sit upright in a chair. You can also lie down, but often with lying down, you can sometimes fall asleep and we want to stay awake through this process. So just bring yourself into a nice, comfortable position. The best times to do meditation is early in the morning or late at night. I just want everyone to make a personal intention. What is it that you hope to gain, experience, connect and heal from in today's guided meditation? What is it that you need from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala? What is it that you're seeking from him, subhanahu wa ta'ala? And just affirm that intention in your heart. Having now made a personal intention, let's make a collective intention. Allah, you are the creator. And we have no one to turn to except you. Your beloveds are gathered here today in a state of humility with their needs. Allah, cover us with your mercy with your guidance, with your light, and open our hearts to receiving the love that is continuously pouring towards us from you, from which you created us and which you sustain us. Allah, inspire our hearts to awaken progressively and increasingly to the truth so that we may be able to fulfill our divine destiny for which you created us. So this is about this, these, this meditation is about cultivating or awakening to the divine truth that is already inside of us. That has been covered as a result of the dunya. So we already have this within our blueprint. And so when we are in a state of meditation and when we are reciting the names of Allah, we are doing it with the intention that, Ya Allah, purify my heart of all these veils that are covering me, that are distancing me from you. A'udhu 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين I to close your eyes and begin to relax. I want you to become aware of your breathing and with each breath I want you to just let go of any tension that is in your body. Breathe and let it go. Know that this tension is the dunya that you're holding internally. And so breathe and let it go. Breathe and let it all dissolve away. Your breath is sacred. Your breath is light. And so allow this light to dissolve the darkness inside of you. Breathe and let it go. And with each breath, I want you to feel yourself go deeper and deeper. Let go of any questions. Let go of any worries. Let go of any anxiety. Breathe and let it go. Let go of the story of you. Breathe and surrender. Allow yourself to immerse into God's divine presence. Breathe gently and breathe deeply. And as mind, body and spirit are all connected, I'm just going to ask you to take your awareness to different parts of your body. And as I take you to that part of your body, I want you to allow it to simply relax. So your forehead. Your face. your throat and your neck.
your shoulders. You need not carry the troubles of the world. Your chest. The abdomen. Your arms and your hands and your fingers. Breathe, relax, and surrender. Your hips. Your thighs. Knees and calves. Your feet and your toes, just simply breathe, let go, surrender, relax, and enter into peace. Here in God's divine presence, there is only peace. There is only joy. There is only love. There is only flow. So give yourself the permission to enter into God's loving grace. Presence. And in his infinite ocean of love and mercy. Breathe, relax and be still. And allow the stillness to arise. And enjoy this moment and cultivate this presence inside of you. And with each breath, I want you to feel yourself go deeper and deeper. All that truly exists is this present moment, the now. The past no longer exists. The worry of the future no longer exists. Breathe and allow yourself to drink from God's infinite ocean of love and mercy. In God's presence, there is only peace. I want you to bring your attention into the area of your heart. Bring your awareness here. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, neither the heavens nor the earth can contain me except the heart of the believer. So as you bring your awareness into the area of your heart, I want you to just gently bow your head in humility and in prostration towards him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. In humility before him, knowing that he is great, 
He is the powerful one and you are in complete need of him. Completely and entirely in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that we can only truly and fully heal in God's divine presence. And in your heart, I want you to acknowledge that you're sitting here today in his presence is one of complete neediness on him. Ya Allah, I have tried to heal and I've struggled and I've failed. And my heart is consumed by the worries of the dunya, the distractions. And it all overwhelms me so much. And without you, I am nothing. And I can achieve nothing. So as we put ourselves into this correct relationship and this correct adab with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah we get more. And so then when we call upon him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're able to achieve greater connection greater openings and greater healing inshallah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that my beloved has called to me and I respond so call him from the deepest greatest depth of your being surrender yourself to him completely and entirely like a newborn infant does in the lap of his mother. And to help anchor you, you can visualize the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Light emanating from his divine name. And bowing your head to this light asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept your connection, to accept your heart. I want you to feel your heart connect with this light. You can also place your tongue On the top part of your mouth, so when we say the name Allah, so the, where the al, the lamb, touches, the tongue touches the top part of the, um, the mouth when we say the name al, Allah. So just allow your tongue to rest gently at this place. There's an energetic spark that generates when we have our tongue in this position. You can also hold your hands like this. It, it, it creates the name Allah. Yeah, so you can have your name uh, hands like this. So you can have them facing upwards or downwards. We have it upwards for a more energizing practice and I'm have it downwards for a more relaxing practice so just place your hands however you feel comfortable place your tongue in the position where the alarm is uttered oh and inshallah today i'm just going to recite the name Allah, and I want you to 
rather than utter it on your tongue, I want you to breathe in the name Al Allah Hu. Yeah, so this is all happening through the breath. Okay, so not on the tongue, but just happening through the breath. So when we're breathing in, it's Allah. And as, I'm bre as we're saying who, we're breathing out. Okay. So I'm just going to say the name Allahu as well, just to guide you through that. And remember, this isn't meant to be a perfect practice. In fact, we can't ever achieve a perfect practice. So just gently, just keep bringing yourself back if your mind gets distracted. Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh. Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah, oh, Allah. Oh, Allah, 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 oh, Allah. Oh, Allah, 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 oh, 
there's any problem, any worry, any stress, anything that's consuming your heart or mind, I just want you to visualize that in front of you. And as I continue to say the name Allahu, I want you to also say in the in your heart on your tongue. I want you to visualize this image of yours that's causing you distress or suffering or pain. I want you to just visualize that being purified. So you're reciting the name Allahu into this image, into this problem or worry or this this stress or anxiety that you're experiencing into this image. I want you to recite. God's divine name into it and as we're reciting the name I want you to visualize that this is being washed this is being purified so the intensity of it starts to go down <clears throat> Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allahu 
Аллаху, Аллаху, Аллаху. Аллаху, 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 Аллаху. Аллаху, 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 Аллаху. Аллаху, 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 Аллаху. Аллаху, 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 Аллаху. Аллаху, 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 Now I want you to visualize the very best outcome from whatever it is that you were struggling with. Whatever problem it is that's consuming your heart or mind, I just want you to see the very best outcome. And visualize that very, very clearly. What can you see? 
What can you hear? What can you feel? Try and use as many senses as possible to visualize this very best outcome. This is the dua that you are making. You are turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is al-fatah, he is the opener. He is the shafi, he is the healer. He is al-kareem, the generous one. He is al-razik, the provider. He is al-ghafood, the most forgiving. He is al-wadud, the most loving. This is who you are turning to for your du'as. The one who can say be and it is done. So visualize the very best outcome. What is it that you seek from Allah? What is it that you want from him? If you want peace, you want forgiveness, you want healthier relationships, a happier marriage, you want your children to be guided, you want to see them successful, you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open the door of abundance and prosperity and risk. You want health. You want to have a fulfilling life, fulfilling relationships. I want you to visualize this. You know, I want you to feel with complete certainty and complete yaqeen and tawakkal and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that anything is possible for him. It's us and our minds that are limited. But everything is easy for him subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want you to feel this dua in your heart. I want you to visualize it in your mind. I want you to see the very best outcome. You know, and I want you to feel that your dua is being answered. I want you to hold this image and this feeling inside your heart and inside your mind. And I want you to feel a sense of gratitude for that dua having been answered. I want you to feel now this sense of gratitude. In this present moment. I want you to hold this feeling of gratitude inside your heart. knowing that all that you are asking for is being granted. And this breathe this gratitude into every single cell of your body. that you are in a state of gratitude. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when my servant is great, grateful, I increase for him. He gives you more. I want you to hold this state. Alhamdulillah. 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 
الحمد لله So we'll end with our Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. ar Maliki Yawmiddin. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Amen. Uh-huh.